Uh, Moxie Boosted Life Hack. If you're ever in the mood for a delicious beverage and you're out of protein powder, try this. Buy whole milk and put Pepsi in it. Wait 30 minutes. And if you have a strainer, you'll have a delicious cup of milk as well as whey protein isolate. It's a fun fact for you. Okay, so it just dawned on me that because Portland Regionals was like, at, like last week and it was at like the beginning of the month, and I was practicing basically exclusively doing best of threes and shut on lives that I'm actually still not in master ball tier on what is it the night no the 14th of the month so yeah I, I mean I, I I just made this team um the team builder for it is on patreon if you guys want to check it out uh, it gives you all the details and stuff uh, I'll release the code in the next video because I do have to fix the king gambit spread I just realized it was wrong uh but yeah, also the name of the team's wrong, but it's a hail team. So yeah, I, I no, I just realized like, oh, I haven't hit Master Ball yet this season, bro. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have to we have to do that eventually. But yeah, what's up, guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Happy Mother's Day if you're watching this uh, the day it comes out. Tell your mom I said hi. I miss her. Um, joking, obviously. I don't know your mom, but yeah, uh, we're gonna be using this uh, snow team. Pretty, uh, it's pretty fun. So basically, if you don't know, snow has been kind of popping off recently. I made a video discussing why. Um, and this variant of snow I'm using actually has a uh, max speed, timid, kind of bulky uh, iron bundle with light clay and Aurora Veil. Uh, and it uses that to support the Pokemon in the back, mainly being like those two frail special attackers and, of course, Mr. Jarjanical. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like here we're pretty set to lead off with this. Uh, the only thing I have to be a little bit careful of is a possible booster energy speed coming from the uh, the Fluttermane and perhaps a Choice Scarf. But beyond that, uh, in the back, I think we're good to bring... Huh, let me think. I'm most likely going to Terra my... I'm probably going to Terra my um, Obama Snow turn one. I think late game, I do get a lot of value out of Bulky Boy. And I think my last Mon, uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this Fluttermane. That should be fine. Yeah, all right, let's do it. So mainly the whole point of the team is with Light Clay, your Aurora Veil lasts a really, really, really long time. Eight turns to be exact. So with the nature of this team being like an Aurora Veil Iron Bundle on lead, uh, it actually makes it really easy to get a free switch into Garganical after you, like, lose a Pokemon on lead, uh, or just pivot out, whatever you want to do. And then you just have Garganical be unkillable. It's really cool. Alright. No, like, I, I literally logged on, and I was like, wait, how am I not in Master Ball tier? I'm like, oh yeah, I, like, played a few games, and, like, I had a rough go of it, like, the first couple of, like, days of, like, laddering. Uh, or no, one laddering session, I think. I played a one laddering session and I streamed it. And then, like, I immediately stopped playing on ladder and just started doing showdown for prep for tournaments. Okay. Um, like I had mentioned, I think I get a lot of value out of pairing my... my guy here. I could also just immediately go for this. I think I'm going to protect. Actually, let's protect here. And I'm going to Terra Terra Blast. And then it's possible next turn I get my Veil up. Or maybe I don't do that. Because I'm concerned about Tailwind. And I am Terra Ice. Um, You know, let's just go for the Veil. Terra Blast. So the Veil's going to go up. Luckily, they weren't Choice Scarf. Um, they're going to take out my Iron Bundle, which is fine, because I think as long as they're not like Sash, I'm in a good spot. Uh, and beyond that, I still have the Flutter Mane in the back, which is faster than both of these guys.
Nice. No sash is actually huge. Because I can just start spamming blizzards. Alright, we'll get in Fluttermane now. Um, and I think what I'm going to do here is play a little bit safe. I think I'm going to protect and go for Blizzard this turn. And then next turn go for a KO. Unless whatever's in the back is actually significantly, like, not scary. Like a Moongus, for example. Like a Moongus. Here I'm fairly certain I should be able to go for a Blizzard into a... Uh, Shadow Ball on the Amoongus and be fine. I do have Garganical in the back, and I think Garganical can end game. But I need this big damage. Obviously, they might Terra the Amoongus, but um, if they do Terra into, like, Terra Water, I can just Leaf Storm the next turn. I also might just get a Freeze. Yep, that's Terra Water. So next turn, I'll be clicking Leaf Storm. Or maybe Spit F Drop? Hmm? Question mark? Ray Bird shouldn't be doing too much to Obama Snow. And this Blizzard should hurt that guy pretty hard. Alright, give me this Freeze. Critical hit of the Amoongus? Okay, big. Big. Little Citrus Berry there. We go for the Spore onto you. Okay. So it basically comes down to... If I can survive a Brave Bird, which is pretty iffy here, I think I'm just going to go for it. Uh, and I'm going to try to wake up. It's it's pretty iffy. I don't think I do, though. They also mate Iron Head. Yeah, uh, I'm fairly certain Garganical end games here. As long as I can uh, deal with the Amoongus in a, in a timely manner. Oh, yep, the Iron Headed, which I'm just going to eat in this Leaf Storm, will KO the Amoongus. That's huge. Lose a little bit of my HP. And if I can wake up, that'd be really, really nice. Garchomp the Cloud Watcher. Okay. So, Garchomp is basically forced to Earthquake here. And they have burned a Terra, so my best play is actually going to be focusing down Garchomp. Just going for this. I'm just going to double. You know. Uh, there's no reason to switch into Garganical right now. I should just go for the wake up. Butterman stays asleep. Okay. Be a really, really close game. There's the Iron Head. Watch. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop to this Brave Bird, but I'm built different. I'm still gonna win. That's how it's gonna work. I'm just crazy at this game. All right. How many turns of Veil do we have? Basically, what I'm asking is how many turns do I have to click recover? Because revealing Iron Head isn't the best. Because that means that I can't wide guard away the uh, attack I'm scared of. But I can alternate, protect, and recover and try to win. Also, if there's Scarf, that's actually really good for me. But I always Salt Cure here. They do have Earthquake, so I can try to Wide Guard away a hit every few turns. 
You know what? I'm, I'm beginning to think we don't win. Yeah. All right. No. I was like, is there any way I can even pull this off? No, I can't. So that's going to be game. Uh, unfortunately there, you know, it mostly just came down to uh, if I woke up or not. I definitely could have played a little bit more aggressive and gone for the Leaf Storm um, on the Terra Water turn because I had mentioned that uh, during the turn, like, yeah, this is a possibility. But honestly, when I'm playing in like Ultra Ball tier, I don't like to make reads like that because I'm not certain where the skill level of the players are. So I usually just play things straightforward. All right, let's continue. By the way, that's not a dig at you if you're like an Ultra Ball player. Like, that's just kind of how it is. Like, if you ask people, and also I'm saying that with like five wins and like 10 losses on like this account on this season. Uh, but yeah, no, you know, sometimes we have bad days. Okay, in DD Armor Rouge, um, you know, it's been a minute since I've seen Psy Spam like at all. I don't even know what Psy Spam does in this format. Okay. Because it hasn't done anything really in tournament that's, like, super notable. But, uh, yeah. I get a lot of value out of the... Uh, I get a lot of value out of, like, the King Gambit and the Fluttermane in the back. Ting Lu, Qian Pao. So, all things considered here, um, there's really no reason not to just click the Veil. I outspeed the Qian Pao every single time. I get a nice little defense boost. Uh, and going for a Blizzard here isn't a bad idea because I have the chance to freeze the Ting Lu and most Qian Pao are Focus Sash, so I can just click it. We'll go for the Veil, obviously. They're going to Terra. What do you even Terra into in this situation? Are you like Terra Fire, Terra Blast? Terra Steel. I would be really surprised if I see like um, what's it called? If I see like like uh, an Iron Head or something, I'd be really surprised here. <laughs> That's got to be purely just a defensive thing. Yeah, no. My main concern here is just I want to get rid of the um, Chem Pal Focus Sash. Watch me freeze this Tinglu. Heavy Slam should eat that up like Reese's Puffs. All right, cool. So here, um, I should feel free to go for like a Hydro Pump into the Chen Pao. And I don't want to get like a switch or anything here. So I think here I'm just going to protect and attempt to land a Hydro Pump, which I know is inadvisable, but it is what it is. Nice. Go for the heavy slam. I think that's not going to do too much. It's neutral. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, and now I can start clicking blizzards. There's Dragonite. So obviously there's the possibility of like, you know, the Dragonite just extreme speeding me. Um, but with that accepted, I mean, I always get, like, at least one of these blizzards off, and I don't feel like switching, so we're just gonna double blizzard. <laughs> yeah. And Terraflying King Gambit endgame looks really good here, especially versus this Tinglu. I don't know why I said Heavy Slam turn one. Or I don't know why I said like, yeah, it'd be crazy if it had like Iron Head. I'm like, no, it's Heavy Slam. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> like they run Heavy Slam. You can tell it's like a early morning recording because of that. I'm just a little sleepy guy today. All right. Um, 
So I would say my play here is actually going to be to Terra Kowtow Cleave and Protect. I think they were trying to call the Terra Fairy. Nice little chunk of damage. Um, I should be able to KO the Tinglu now with a Shadow Ball into another Kowtow Cleave. I hope. <laughs> I hope this KOs. You go for the E-Speed on the Mike and Gambit. It doesn't do much because of that epic Veil. It's very epic. Right, and this should just pick up the KO. Nice. Yeah, I mean, like, I really like having the Fluttermane in the back with this Veil up, because Fluttermane, like, max defense, 100 HP Fluttermane is just, like, already super, super bulky. Um, not super bulky, I guess, but, like, deceptively bulky. So by having that Veil up, it makes the end games just very free in a lot of situations. And yeah, I just win here by going for my Terra Blast and Dazzling Gleam. Nice. Also, I get to use my cool new pause button on OBS because there's someone at the door. All right, I'll be right back uh, when we get another battle. Okay, I'm back. So, what's up, guys? You know, it's been a minute. I had to go get the door. Um, I, I don't know, man. What, what do I even talk about? Uh, Moxie Boosted Life Hack. If you're ever in the mood for a delicious beverage and you're out of protein powder, Try this. Buy whole milk and put Pepsi in it. Wait 30 minutes. And if you have a strainer, you'll have a delicious cup of pilk as well as whey protein isolate. It's a fun fact for you. Okay, this is... Oh, what? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, that's a Golduck. Hold on, I haven't seen that in like... Wait, hold on. I haven't seen Golduck in a really long time. That just caught me off guard. Like, look, there's a Magnazone on this team, and that's not even what's like messing. That's not even what's messing with me here. All right. Um. So I'm not sure how much value we're gonna get out of these guys. I think I actually might be able to make use of this if I tear it. But I do get a lot of value out of you. I just don't want to lead off with it because I don't want to have like rain on the field. Um, at the end of the turn. Yeah, because a free swap would be a lot better for me. Maybe I do just lead off with it. And if they don't bring in Pelipper turn one, like I just make like a hard call out. Like if they're gonna bring on, if they're gonna bring in the Pelipper uh, on lead, I'll be slower than it. But if they wanna bring Pelipper in um turn two, I just hard call it out. Alright, in the back here, I think I'm gonna go with you and why not you? Is that fine? Be fine. I don't see how that can go terribly wrong. Alright. Yeah, honestly, like, Halifin and, like, Pelipper are still really scary together. Like, alright, so, like, they kind of fell off because of the existence of just, like, you know, finding out that Palafin doesn't need Pelipper to deal damage. But when you see it, you go, okay, hold on, now I'm scared. Alright, they didn't lead off of it, so I'm just gonna assume that they're just gonna immediately swap it in. Is that really worth the call out though? Like if we're being honest, is that worth the call out? Like I had mentioned earlier, I am in master or I'm not in master ball tier. Um I think I get the most value out of just clicking blizzard and hard swapping into like There's no reason they should earthquake, I think. I'm going to go king gambit. They didn't switch. All right, well, that's interesting. I could have gotten the veil off. Did they not bring Pelipper? Like, that's what's confusing me. I'm going to tear a rock. 
Oh, this is kind of bad. Hopefully I can get a freeze. I mean, I do have that defense boost. I'll be fine. I'll go for Veil next turn. I could also just go for the Hydro Pump, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I need a pump. I'm gonna say that pump is kind of necessary here. This is a really weird first game, and I'm gonna hard swap Obama Snow in because uh, the Dolphin should switch out first. And burning that Terra early is really nice for me because I'm gonna get a lot of value out of this Obama Snow now. Basically, I gotta connect this this Hydro Pump. That's my win con. Connect the Hydro Pump and I think we just win. I shouldn't drop to a baby jet punch because we do have the, the snow up. They are just not swapping. All right. Hopefully I don't miss. I don't want to get punished for this play. Alright, I live that. Yeah, that doesn't even come close to KOing. Alright, we'll just repeat that turn. And also, I think I am just going to... I mean, the Blizzard did do half, right? I'm just gonna Hydro Pump. I'm too scared to Blizzard. I'm a coward. I'm a dumb, stupid coward. You know what? No, I am tired of being terrified of this thing. I'm gonna Aurora Veil... And I'm just gonna Terra right now in Terra Blast. I'm I'm no longer messing with the. Oh my God! Don't don't let that finally be the Pelipper. Uh <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> I don't get what they're doing anymore. <laughs> This better one shot for some reason. I I legitimately don't know what's happening anymore, guys. I'm sorry. They're they're breaking my brain. All right, does about half. Dude, all right, so I don't want to go into Fluttermain, but I also don't want to go into King Gambit because, dude, with everything that's happened so far, there is like a 90% chance this Magna Zone is going to be Magnet Pull and I won't be able to switch, so I have to go Flutter. There's like a 90% chance that's about to happen. Luckily, Flutter can at least eat a T-Bolt. If they don't go for Tailwind here, I'm just going to do something a little risky. Cool. They didn't T-Bolt. I'm going to do something kind of risky because I don't want to play with this Magna Zone on the field. They went for a Thunder. Okay. Um, Actually, if that's the case... Mm -hmm -hmm, okay. Um, If that's the case... I get a lot of value out of just getting the Veil up here. Or maybe I get rid of Magna Zone. Let me think. All right. So, no, I just get the. I just. I just go for Magna Zone. All right. Hydro Pump KOs Magna Zone. Dazzling Gleam into that. As long as I don't miss this pump, I think I win. Yeah, because they're hard swapping the Pelipper for some reason. I just have to connect this Hydro Pump. Oh my God! I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up, dude. I don't even know what's happening. I don't even get that KO. This is just one of those games. This is just this is just one of those games, guys. Ooh. 
leftovers. Um, how do I win? I think this is how I win. So the greatest advice I've ever received from someone, um, it was from Joe Nine of Joe UX Nine fame. Uh, and what he told me is, Marcos, if you're ever playing against someone where you just don't know what they're like, you, all right. So when you're playing against someone where it's like they're making weird plays, just click the button that, that deals damage. Stop, stop trying to predict, just click the damage button and you'll be fine. All right, that shouldn't matter. Yeah. So shout out to Joe Nine. Also, I just found out that I'm faster than this thing by like a lot, so I can just count out cleave. There's no need to sucker punch anymore. Back in the Magna Zone, okay. You know what? If they send out the Pelipper here, I'm gonna be mad confused, but I won't be surprised anymore. I, I genuinely hope they just send out the Pelipper for some unknown reason. Okay, they don't, that's fine. So I should be good here to there's no need to sucker punch. I can just cleave and get in a bomb of snow because they should probably want to jet punch my flutter main because that is the immediate threat in the field. Okay, thank God I got one right. And now I just focus down this palafin like my life depends on it. I might scout his intentions here. Let me think. Do I think that this Pelipper is within range of my attack? Actually, let's just Kowtow Cleave and attack this thing. I no longer care. I'm not going to scout intentions anymore. I'm just going to hit it. Can you, like, not have wave crash? That'd be so cool. It'd be, like, the coolest thing ever. They do have wave crash. It's going into the King Gambit, which is fine. Because now they drop to Leaf Storm. And as long as I don't, like, get crit by Hurricane, I win. All right, thank you. Guys, <laughs> guys, I'm sorry if I was like a little salty in this match. I just could not tell what was happening. <laughs> I legit could not tell what was happening. Watch, it's gonna be Aqua Jet on the Pelipper. <laughs> I don't think it learns it, but it'd be so funny. Uh, it's just Deep Storm, sure. All right. No, there, there are just those games, you know? There are just those games. <laughs> but, you know, we got through it. Anyways, I I mean, I, I think I'm just going to call it there. We'll see if I got out of Ultra Ball Hell. I don't think I did. I think I need to play like two more games, but I don't have time to record today. So um, I'll stream with this team on Tuesday, um, and I'll try to record a little bit more today uh, when I get back from like my Mother's Day celebration. So, yeah. Anyways, let's let's see what my can I get out of like Ultra Ball Hell. So for backstory as to why I like wasn't out of Ultra Ball Hell, if I remember correctly, I was using this really like 
interesting Wo Chen hip on team. I didn't make it, it was a rental, but I couldn't I couldn't get out for the life of me. But yeah. Anyways, we'll be back eventually. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye, guys.